They've committed their lives to making sure that our community is safe and that it's one that we can be very, very proud of. Thank you very, very much for all you doing. I would like to introduce our guests. We have Chief Sweeney of the Fire Department. <coughs> Chief Astapenis from the Police Department. We are also very fortunate that we have firefighters Ionetti, Langto, and Ramsey. And also uh, Police Officer Nimsik joining us. So what we what we did ask our students was to write an essay or a poem that expressed their thanks. And I don't think that there are any better words that I could think of than what our students have uh, written for you. So they're going to share, share their essays with you. And Mrs. Sherman, um, actually, and Mr. Staples, if you're here, I also want to thank both of you very, very much for all of your effort in organizing this for us. And Mrs. Sherman will be introducing our readers. <coughs> Our first speaker is going to be Catherine Tasker, and then we're going to have, okay, and then followed by Abigail Sepperman. Dear police officers and firemen, thank you for all that you do for us. You keep us safe and you save lives. Also, you can visit schools and make sure school events run smoothly. Policemen make sure people follow the laws. Firemen save pets and put out fires. All of you are hardworking and strong, but also confident and brave. You're helpful and determined. I love it when firemen come to our school and have fun in public shows. Police officers arrest people for hunting out of season. I feel proud when I see a fireman or police officer. I also feel safe and happy when you're around. You're fast and alert and always punctual. Also, you're heroic and willing to put yourself in danger for us. I feel scared when I see a fire truck zooming down the road. 
but I know you're helping somebody. Thank you for all that you do for our community. Together they dominate with nothing in their way. They grow and grow together, destroying and demolishing. It's all lost, everything is gone, there is no hope. You would think, out of the darkness comes out, not a spark of fire, but a spark of hope. Hope that everyone will make it out. Hope that everything will be okay. Trusting in our hero, the firefighter. Hardy's class, we have Kayla Nimson. 
Lisek and Jonathan Williams.
Mr. Sheen, would you please come <laughs> up on stage? <laughs> to the stage. We actually owe Mr. Sheehan a great deal of thanks for his part in making sure that we are safe here at school and that our building is clean and orderly. And Mr. Sheehan, how long have you been working for? 17 years. Mr. Sheehan has been working in our school district. And for the past six years, he has been our head custodian. He has made the decision to retire. It was a tough decision. <laughs> it was a tough decision. So, what we would like to do now is, is give Mr. Sheehan a huge round of applause for all of Chief and the fire chief 
to let you know a few of the things they do to help keep us safe. Is that okay? All right, let's begin. That's okay with you guys? All right. All right, no leaves. All right, sorry about that. Good morning. Um, my function in, in town is to protect everybody that comes to town. That means either uh, people who are violating the speed, the road, uh, uh, any violations on the road, any um, people who are breaking into houses, uh, people who are stealing from you, uh, people who are bullying you, people who just happen to, you know, make you unsafe. So anytime you uh, have an issue, um, and you see a police officer, you should go to them and uh, let them know what's happening. Thank you. And next we'll hear from Fire Chief Sweeney. Good morning. Our biggest job is to put fires out. We have an ambulance. We transport people to the hurt in the ambulance. But most of our jobs start with Guys. Everybody remember Firefighter Phil comes in October on the puppet show? He teaches everybody how to start rock and roll, get out of the house safely, and find a, a place outside, stay there, make sure that everybody's protected, we're not go back into the house. And does anybody remember Firefighter Ramsey? Yeah. Firefighter Topmark? Remember these guys? When did they come here? <coughs> Just last week, right? Yeah. right? That's where it all starts with you guys. You guys are the important guys to learn fire prevention, to learn how to be safe. We count on you as much as you count on us. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. kindergarten class. Um, let's have all the kindergarten students that have the cards to stand up and then we'll call you we'll call you to come up one class at a time. Okay? This is a great class. Please stand and I'll call your class. 
Okay, let's begin with Mrs. Groovy's class. Ready? 